Okay, here's a quick video of my Kroger Finale inventory. Little uh, settings change on your barcode scanner. If you need to read barcodes that are not in the same symbology um, that uh, you're used to or the scanner refuses to decode them, you can normally add them to the uh, scanner and the wedge software. So if you're on a if you're on a newer scanner, you're going to see a screen like this. This is your like your Windows start screen. So if you're used to seeing this screen, you go to the home screen here. Um, on that front screen, you should see data wedge. If you've uh, scrolled it up off the screen, you may not see it, but um, go into data wedge. That's where the settings are. So we're going to open up data wedge. Go to your basic configuration. So this is how to add a new sim symbol that maybe. Uh, a new barcode technology that you may not be able to scan. So I'm going into basic. Once you get into basic, uh, we're going to talk about the barcode input, meaning, hey, what kind of barcode inputs can this data wedge de de decode? So you should have one that's checked here. If you've got a, two, a 2D scanner, it'll be 2D. This one's a 1D, so I'm going to actually click on this. So I'm going to click on the 1D scan scanner driver. Here it just says, hey, this one's enabled. But what you're interested in is the decoders. So go into the decoders. And then you can see here, you can either enable all barcodes, disable them, but then you can also see which ones are turned on. So um, one easy way is just kind of scan through the list until you see the symbology that you need. So I don't see the one I want. Uh, somebody was asking about a code 93. So not 39, but 93. So if you look here and scroll down to my list, you should be able to see the code 93, and then you can put a check mark by it if you want to be able to read it. So that's as easy as it is to do. So once you make that change, don't just hit your X OK. So make sure if you turn that on, you just got to hit back to uh, go back, and then go back, and then go back. And then when you get to here, make sure you hit back, and then it's going to save the change. That's very key. Okay, so make sure you do that. And then once you get there, then you can hit exit. Okay, so then you can exit out and that will save the changes back to the data wedge.